Thank you. Can you turn the car off? Thank you. Can you give me your driver's license and your insurance card? What do you think he's front of you? I'm just asking for your driver's license and your insurance card. Are you dead ass serious? You finna act like that's what you've been asking me for this whole time? What have I been asking Shut you for? Shut the fuck up. Like, stop. Okay, I need your driver's license and your insurance card. It's just an accident. Don't turn it like this. Okay, why are y'all... Why do I... Why am I pulled over right now? For the accident. Six time? You want to go six? What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy once again. And of course, another day of foolery. Okay, so today, uh, I don't know, people going crazy out here, man. You get pulled over and it's just show your butt day. You know, act a fool. Don't act like you have any sense. I mean, what, what is going on with people out in this world where they think they can just do and say what they want. This is where we at with this. A simple traffic traffic stop goes ballistic. Y'all gotta check this lady out. I'm just trying to wonder like what is going on with her. Make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and share. Because I have plenty more of these and you wanna see it. Let's get it. On January 10, 2022, police conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle for leaving the scene of an accident in Joliet, Illinois. Hello. Uh, were you just in an accident back there? You sure? Yeah, over there on uh, South Hame Street. Okay, do you have your driver's license and insurance card on me? I just need to see your driver's license and insurance card, man. Yes, so you were involved in an accident just back there. We have your drive, we have your your um, license plate, your vehicle description, you're on camera, and you have damage on your vehicle and then you just left the area. So we're just trying to get your information for the accident and then we'll send you on your way, okay? So I just need to see your driver's license and your insurance card. Now she's on the phone with someone. Okay, so this is the weird thing, people, our people. When you get stopped, stop calling people at home and explaining to them you have a simple traffic stop. Deal with it. Get the citation. Fight it in court. All this keeping the window rolled up. Calling everybody in your family like they're going to do something, like they're lawyers or something. And if they were, they can't do anything at a traffic stop. Show them the license. Do what you have to do and keep it moving. You're making it worse when you do all this. That's all I'm saying. Everybody gets stopped. It ain't no big thing. Just, man, I've been stopped plenty of time. I just give it to them. Most of the time, they give me a warning. I've had probably three tickets in 20 years. 20 years. <laughs> Ma'am, you need to give us your driver's license and your insurance card. Ma'am. What's going it's on? It's just an accident. Don't turn this into something what else. What accident? You were involved in an accident. You, you got to come off of that. You got to come off of that, okay? You were involved in the accident. We have She's to take your information. Now, you can hear somebody on the phone telling her to open the door. They're telling her to obey what the officers are telling. I mean, saying to her. Roll the window down, open it, get the dog on citation, lady, and move on. What's your first name? <laughs> don't turn this into something that you don't need it to be, okay? All exactly. we need, let, let me tell you You're something. You're turning it into something. Ma'am, 
We need to take, I already explained that to you. We need your driver's license and your insurance card or what's going to happen is you're going to end up going to jail. This is a grown woman I already explained, you want me to explain to you for the third time? This is a grown woman. You were involved in an accident on South Hame Street. You left the scene of that accident. We have your license plate. You have damage to your vehicle. We need your driver's license and your insurance card for the accident report, and then we can send you on your way. If you refuse that, you can go to jail. So it's your choice. do what you got to do. I'm just asking for your driver's license and your, and your insurance card. That's all you got to do. Do you have that on you? What accident are you talking about? The one that you were just involved in. Now, Which you one? don't have to keep doing this. Okay, we can. We're going to continue. Okay. Okay, how about this? I wasn't in no I need your driver's license, your insurance card, and you're going to go to jail. You pulled me over for no reason. I already explained to you the reason. Maybe she owns something. So, I need your driver's license and your insurance card, or you can go to jail for obstructing the police. It's your call. Are you refusing to open the window? Because I think you know what's going to happen if you do that. And you don't need to turn that into something. You pulled me over for what? You want me to explain it to you for the fifth time? Yep. Okay. Why you ain't get, get on me back in? For the fifth you, time, so wait. you were involved in an accident, there, you so fled wait, the scene, get me, get on me back and in. now you're refusing to give me your driver's why license you and your insurance card. So I need to why see your driver's you license and your insurance card, or you'll go to jail for obstructing the police. Right, so I'll tow your, your car and door. impound it. Well, you're going to unlock it for me, or I'm going to break the window. Now, <laughs> I kind of hate to even say this, but... This is kind of stuff you go through in a relationship with some of these crazy chicks now. Now, I know y'all got some crazy dudes out there. I've seen them. But when you have somebody acting like this, like they hadn't done anything, you literally just done hit somebody. Everybody reported this white car, what is it, hit someone. You got the markings on the car. And then you tell them why y'all didn't do something back there. Kind of telling on yourself. But they just caught up with you because you ran. But just give it to them and go on about your business. You're going to get arrested, get your car towed, and you still got to pay for the other people's car. Yeah. For what? Because you're refusing to give me your that driver's you license and your insurance you card. That you can't. I, well, I know I can. Can't you dumb? And the cops, they are being extremely polite to her. That's the thing. They're not being overly aggressive. They are being extremely polite to her, and she's still doing all this. Now, I got to come to an end sooner or later. I mean, it just got to. So are you refusing to open your window? Okay. So at this point, you're under arrest. I need you to get out of the car, or I'm going to break the window and take Why you out. Why are you pulling me over? I already oh, explained God. that you were past that. Shut the fuck up. All right. If Whoa. you don't get out of the car, I'm going to break the window. Hey, ma'am. What are you doing here on the scene? Otherwise, you're, you're gonna have, we're gonna be down at the station. It's yeah, up to you. This shit is dumb as fuck. Okay. Wow. All right. What did I do? It's gonna come out. I've been here for 10 minutes trying to get it through. First. Can you shut the car off at least so we don't turn this into something that it doesn't have to be? Yeah, I just don't want to, 10 0 would just stand around the car, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Can you turn the car off? Now she rolls it down. Can you give me what your you driver's license and your insurance card? What do you think he's front of you? I'm just asking for your driver's license and your insurance card. Are you dead ass serious? You finna act wow. like that's what you've been asking me for this whole time? What have I been asking Shut you for? Shut the fuck up. Like, stop. Okay, I need stop. your driver's license and your insurance card. It's just an accident. Don't turn it So he should tell you then a, that yeah. you should give me your driver's so license. So why the entire and you what do you Okay. I know it's beeping a lot out because he can't say what, no, can't, we can't play whatever she's saying and you two go crazy. How, why do you feel you can talk to anybody like that? This is my thing. Some of you ladies, the stuff that y'all say, and I'm going to say to men, I ain't going to say to police officers, but to men, how you talk to them, it's ridiculous. All this disrespect in your voice, when the man's been overly polite to you, 
And then you acting as if this whole conversation just started again. All this dead A, all, look, man, this is not, this is where you start step up as an adult and speak as an adult. All this street hood talk, no, you need to chill with that. You need to be on your stuff, answer the questions, and get up out of there. Nobody wants to spend a night in jail. Nobody. But I don't understand why she's amping this up when you know you're in the wrong. When I know I'm in the wrong, not in speed, and they pull me over, shh, they say, you know, yeah, I might have been. My bad. I'm not even going to argue. And most of the time they come back, slow it down. Here's a warning. All right, man, appreciate it. Have a nice day. You nice to them, most of them be nice to you. I'm not going to sit here and play the good cop, bad cop. I know some out there, some in, you know, I work in a bunch of business, different things. So I know there's a good, bad apple everywhere. But these guys were not being a bad apple to her. I'm just going to be honest about it. I know if you're acting like yeah. this. Okay. Call me. Why are y'all, why do I, why am I pulled over right now? For the accident. Six you time? In. You want to go six? You were involved in an accident. You left the scene. I found your car. You're damaged to the front of your car. All this is is an accident I'd be a report, mental man. issue. Don't turn this into anything else. Don't turn it into something else. It's an accident report. We need your stuff for the report, and then you're on your way. It's your word against the other driver's word. That's all we're looking at, man. You're making this far too difficult on yourself. I understand. On yourself. I understand. Okay. No, Can't I you understand. just give them your license, your insurance. They can relay that over the other Can side. Can y'all go to them? Well, we already have an answer there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. That's why we're here. I have nothing else to talk about. Okay. I'm good. I need your driver's license and your insurance card. I don't have none of that. You don't have your license, right? No. No, your insurance card. I don't card. have it. Okay. I need you to step out of the car. Why? Because I need you to step out of the Why? car. Because now you're under arrest for obstructing the police. Okay? Man, you want to turn that into that? We can turn it into that. Just get your license. Get the insurance. Get, get an ID. Again. Whatever you got. Just provide it. It's Monday. We're not trying to make it any more difficult than I didn't do anything. Okay, well, now you're doing something. Give us your license and your insurance card so we can get this on the report and get you the hell out of here. Shit. I'm not going to touch shit, touch, no, but I need you to give me your driver's license and your insurance. I am, but okay. don't touch my door. Why are you doing that? I've explained it to you already. It right? don't matter. Fucking then thing. act like it. So you need to act, act like, like it. it. Don't touch shit. Give me your driver's you license and your insurance card. Man, what a, what's up? Whoa. You want to take me to jail? Take no, me to jail. Take don't to touch me. Hey, don't what don't is going on? Face. This point, just step really? to the side of the car. This is a, this is in the way. Exactly. Man, what is going on? Why, lady? What are you thinking? What are you doing? I ain't driving. What? Hey, what's going on? 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 Stop resisting. You a dumb bitch. Stop resisting. Ain't nobody resisting. Stop resisting. You just, you, this, you must be a, you must be a rookie. Me? You must be a rookie. You must be a rookie. The fuck out of my face. You feel good? You feel good? You still gotta fight for coke? Right. Come on. Bitch. You got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. No, it's the other, it's the other one. I got a wrist. I got a wrist. Like, come on, let's go. Watch your, watch your yep. the Gotta stand up, okay? Stand up. Stand up. Wow. Okay, roll to your knees. And then come up, on. Up on your feet. Yep. Come on. Slip your shoes on your feet. You want your phone? Is this oh your phone? God. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Step up. If you want your Man. phone, step on your shoes. Yeah. That's fine. I ain't do yeah. none to y'all. That's All fine. Right. That's fine. Put your shoes on. You want them or no? Stop. Don't start. 
what in the world is going? Something got to be wrong with her. Because she keep popping that smile. Y'all notice that smile she keeps giving? Another thing. We said this a while back. Police officers. Everyone in that uni in uniform should take some jujitsu classes. Every last one of them. Because the primary use of that you have to subdue someone is arm, leg, hose, or whatever, submission hose. You need to learn how to properly submit someone or move someone's body part to subdue them. The dude was struggling with one arm. And I've seen this in some other situations where I've seen two or three guys on top of one guy fighting to get an arm or a leg, and I'm just sitting there like, y'all don't know what you're doing. You're making this hard for yourself. So I think every last one of them should take some, everybody, take some jujitsu classes. I mean, go for a while, at least one year, and learn how to subdue people. Because it wouldn't take no time to subdue this woman if you knew something. No time. But psh, take her down, twist, psh, rap. But instead, y'all wrestle with her. I mean, y'all get her, but shouldn't take three cops to, to get this woman. But something's wrong with her. You know, let's get it. You ain't shit. You don't matter. You don't matter. Crazy, you know. Y'all. Ambulance fighting around. All right, go ahead and get in. Come on. Stinks. Leave. Leave me alone. Y'all had no right to arrest me. Ma'am, you got to get in the car. Man, ouch. Hop in. Let's go. Man, get me the out of here. Y'all have no right to arrest him. Yeah, we gotta get in the car. I'm gonna go around the other side. Lady, get in the car, please. Get in the car. No, you don't. Come on. Come on. You have to get in the car. Tony, you got what I only preview part of this video. I didn't see all of like this. I didn't see that. But lady, just get in the car before you get hurt. You're set up. One for obstructing. Lincoln 23. Tony, if you can roll a toe for one, please. Toe for one, check one. Hit and run. Simple traffic accident. Yeah, yeah, we're good. This would uh, all be part of a defense of a. Uh, Listen to her in the car. Yeah, yeah. Investigating a hit and run. Okay. She's having a bad Monday. Oh. She's got a pull right up here. I don't know. She was going in the glove box for that, but. She was told the car for hit and run. Yeah. You got a body cam for it? Yeah. I think it fell off at some point. I mean, I, I, was, I, just, that's what, I didn't know you had them, so I was just sitting here like. <laughs> I have a wrist. I had a for that to transfer the wrist over to Bob. I knew it was going to come to that. Yeah. Scene. I could just tell right away. No, I'm glad I showed up over her. Did a good job. Yeah. Was 24 20 or no? You gave her so many I know. commands. Yeah. I mean, there's so many. 24, you could advise 20 years ago. Yeah. Having a bad day. Yeah. And I will say, they did give her a lot of chances. And maybe she don't have a license or she shouldn't even be driving. And maybe that's why she was tripping. But, come on, man. All right, we'll get her down there. Ain't no drugs. Well, you see, what you did back there is like all sorts of not good. Okay? And I think you know that, so just listen. No, what am I getting It's called obstructing the police. I mean, we can go the whole different route if you want. With resisting, you kick the sergeant, we could do that, but we're not, we're not going to do all that unless you act a fool down in the jail, okay? So what we're going to do, just listen to me. We're going to go to the Joliet Police Department. We have to take your fingerprints and your picture, and then we're going to release you. Listen to me. Just listen to me, Brittany. And then we'll get you out of here on an I bomb. We'll take you back to... Or you can go sit at the Will County Jail with no bond. There's your options, okay? This started from a simple traffic stop, and, and you could have just went with the program. Yeah, right. Right. But you didn't. 
Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. So I j I'm just explaining <laughs> to you why you got arrested. You could, you could still be cool, but you decided not to. I, I don't know if that's yeah. true. No. <laughs> oh, well, she's probably intoxicated. She was wrestling with us a little bit. She was in an accident, hit and run, refusing to get out of the car. So. All right, Brittany, so we're going to take inside fingerprints, pictures, and if you're cool with that, I'll take it. Now look at her. Take me home. I promise you I will, but you gotta promise me that you'll be cool with this. You just gotta take your picture and finger. Now, just 10 minutes ago, she was full of anger and fire and cursing and all this. Now, this is the reality. Now, look. Then cried herself ashy. Just then cried herself ashy. Face looking all humble. It's too late now, people. We don't want to end up in this situation here. Give up this. You could have just said, I don't have my license, whatever. Maybe they wouldn't have taken you in, wrote you a citation till you be in court. Maybe towed a car. But somebody could come pick you up. Because they didn't want to take her in. But no, you go and wrestle with them and curse them out and call them all type of names. They show that to a judge. <sighs> come on. <laughs> We're cool, you're going to get a recap today. You're out and out. I, did I do anything? I don't want to go to jail. I no, we do don't want you to take it. Yeah, something this wrong. It's just a misdemeanor. That's a <laughs> okay. bullshit ass misdemeanor. Cool. Okay. So I'm not going to jail. No, this is the police station. This is the police station. Y'all promise y'all not going to put me in Look, jail. Look, you're, you're on camera. You're on camera, okay? okay. I can't lie to you on okay. camera. Yeah, I'm dead ass. I didn't do anything. Fingerprints, fingerprints and picture, and then we're yeah, we got to do no, paperwork. No, you're not finna take no picture. I didn't do Brittany, anything. You're under arrest. Nope. It's part of the booking procedure. Listen, nope. to me. listen to me, girlfriend. Listen to me. Y'all not finna. Y'all finna put me on the phone. You're not walking way into a felony. <laughs> okay, don't. What? Do it. Refusing this is a felony. We're trying to get you out of here. We ain't trying to do this. Brittany was charged with felony aggravated battery and obstructing justice. Misdemeanor leaving the scene of an accident, driving on a suspended license, and resisting. She received citations totaling $1,620. At the police station, she refused booking procedures and was sent to the county jail. Her bond was $50,000 as a 10% bond. Thank you. Okay, now. All that could have been avoided. Every bit of that. Now you driving with suspended license and all that. I don't know what the like. Some can take you in. Some will write your citation and tow the car, or ask somebody else to come get the car. They ask, do you have anybody can come get the car? Or if they would have taken you in and written you a citation just for the ticket. I mean, um, not having a license, driving on suspended license. But you still had a hit and run. So you're not even supposed to be driving. I don't know who car you got, but you done cause their insurance to go skyrocket high because it's an unlicensed person driving a car that had an accident so they're going to have to probably file charges against you so the insurance will pay for their car you see what I mean that's why I don't let people drive my cars because people will lie to you and say they're good to go and jump in your car and know they don't have a license wreck it bring it right back to you and act like nothing ever happened well, guys, y'all let me know what y'all think about the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, hit that like button and comment. And it's your boy, and I'm up out of here with another day of foolery. Y'all take care, and y'all stay vibing. Peace. I'm out of here.